Hello, I am Bentham, and welcome back to Rodino, where we are currently just in space, near the, uh, the star of the Zorica system, which I think is called Danica rather than Zorica or something like that. The star is differently named. I don't know. But, uh, I saved and reloaded, and now the random pew-pew noises have disappeared, so I guess it was just a ghost alien or something. I don't know. Uh, but yes. Seeing as we're in the middle of space, we should probably continue to our next uh, target in space. Or we could try fighting a vanguard again. A, a bit of vanguard again. Let's see. Let, let's go for this one here. This is on the way to Velas, I believe. Don't crash into the sun. Don't crash into the sun. All is well. <laughs> Everything is fine. The gravity did not murder us. Oh, and we've gone past it. And now I don't know which one it is. Um, I think it's this one. This one seems closest. If I liminal, that's the one that moves relative to the stars most. I was like, you've got to, you've got to work it out. I hope this isn't the one I was at before, because it's really hard to tell which one is which. I mean, it's literally impossible, based on very basic estimations, based on location in the system. Like, how far out it is, because you can't even base it off the positions of the planets, because the planets move, they actually orbit. At quite a speed, I think, as well. Here we are, we're getting closer. Let's not smash into the thing. I keep using shift instead of space to go up, I've been... I've been getting used to, to the wrong controls. Alright, let's bring it back in again. Hang on, I can, I can target and then we can work it. Okay, we're moving away, we're moving towards, nice and slow, let's speed it up. And then slow it down. We can actually... There we go. Perfect. A little bit of a boost in. Bring it steadily closer. Drop down to combat speed. Correct our trajectory or whatever. That's the button for lights. Wow, that really lights it up. I don't know if it's supposed to be that color, but it is now. Okay. It's G for lights, for reasons that I do not understand. Probably just that it is next to F, which is al already a key for something. Docking speed, nice and slow. We are currently 13 meters away from the, the Vanguard chunk. Really? Only th That seems wrong. Status infected. That's one way of putting it. Right, let's try and... We want to face this way so that we are airlock to airlock. And also we can cheat and get a map of the uh, the ship with some of the aliens in. Oops, steady. Oh, oh dear. Right, let's just, let's just stop where we are. And we'll go try battling. And I'm going to switch to the, the standard blaster instead of the repeater blaster and see how that goes, because I can charge up shots which will hopefully allow me to basically hide and then pop out and fire a really powerful shot and then hide again. Except I'm not the most accurate with this weapon, so maybe that won't really work. Here we go, making the jump through open space. Ow! <laughs> there we are, we're, we're, we're fine. Oh, okay, wow, okay. Jeez, I've not even opened the door yet and you're shooting me. And I can just like rapid fire like this as well, which is nice. So hi there, let's see what, how rapid fire works. Does it just, where are you? you? We're stood in the same spot. That was not, that's not how you do in gunfights. Okay, yeah, just rapid firing instead of like holding down with a repeater seems to be a much better tactic for killing them. Also, let's charge up a shot, ready for when we open this door. What do we got? Boom. I don't know if that hit him or not, but now I'm gonna switch to this because I'm, I'm too inaccurate to use the charge shot unless there's de desperate times because they are desperate measures. All right, what's in here? Another normal one. I'm just, I'm just gonna stand here and shoot you. Actually, that's bad. I've lost all my health. Now I'm not gonna be able to take the rest of the of the ship chunk without dying. Got him. I do wish that there were like, why not have just a really slow healing rate while you're in combat? Because otherwise, I just like, I just end up dying. Okay, there's a lot of them in here. That's not good. Y 
easy. I can. It seems that they don't fire very often, so I can just keep getting a few shots at them and then running away. It all works out fine. I don't know if I'm actually hitting them. Oh, one of them's dead. That's good. That's very good. Ow, I'm on fire. That's not good. Okay, the fire's gone. Shoot the crap out of him. And then, yeah, I sort of don't want to touch the fire. Now I know that it actually does work as fire. There we go, got him. Yoink. And now we have the good weapons. Fire. Fire. This is much better. More of them. Where are you? I need to kill you quickly while I still have this weapon. There's none left. Ow, I just hurt myself. Oh, there's one over there. Got him. Continuing on. It... Wait, did we do it? The music stopped. I think we did it. Awesome. Didn't even use all the stuff in the end. So basically, kill a fire one, and then use the upgrade to murder everyone. That is the, the, the strategy. Yep, they're all gone. Very nice. And where'd the other fire upgrade go? Do they despawn after a time? Because that's, that's no fun. Is this not the room I thought it was? No, it is. Or is it? No. Now I'm confused. Was it this door I used? How have I got lost? Yeah, this was... It was this door and there was another one here. Maybe I picked up both? I don't know. Anyway, we have successfully cleared this particular place. I don't know whether that will mean anything, really. Wait, wait. Oh, there's still one down there. Yep, they, they are clearly, like, just... They've fallen through the floor and are just inside the model of the ship. And I can't kill them, I guess. So does this count as infected forever? Maybe. It's all in alpha, don't worry. This stuff has, like, literally just been implemented. Still better than nothing. Okay. I guess we'll just leave. When we're back in the cockpit, we'll try targeting and see if it still counts as infected. Yeah, I don't know if you get anything for uninfecting it. I don't think you get anything for, like, clearing all the aliens on a planet or anything. Apart from the satisfaction that you succeeded in your mission. T. Oh, no, status cleared. So, yeah, the ones that have fallen through don't count. Awesome. Right, let us carry on. I think now it is time to go to Velez. And if I... Up back out of the cockpit, check the scanners. Can I actually look at which one's which? Velez, yes. Velez is the red one. The uh, second closest to the sun. So it is... Oh, yeah, we were on our way to it, weren't we? So it is this way. And... Boom. Warp 1 or whatever. And here it is. We visited it before, very, very briefly. While trying to remember which planet we were supposed to be going to. This time we are supposed to be here. And here are all the enemies. There, there are... That's a lot. That's not good. Hmm. Right, let's... Let's aim for a bit that doesn't have anything on it. That seems like a good idea. There's so many... So many battleships. There are more battleships than anything else. And these can have other ships around them as well. It's not just, uh... It's not just the ship... As we saw before, there was one that had two of the missile ships with them. Yeah, let's go down to this bit here. There is some ships... Well, there are some ships nearby, but I don't know whether they're in space or not. I guess we'll see when we arrive. There seems to be a ball of cloud at the moment. I don't think I can see the surface, really. Small amount of detail, maybe. Yeah, this, this is very ominous music. There's our friends. They are not on the ground. They are somewhere in space. Only just, though. Let's slow it down. Make sure to have a nice steady re-entry. Or entry, seeing as we've never been here before. There we go. Not too bad. Let's try and fix our angle. We want to be flying at the thing we're aiming for. There we go, all is good in the world. Is the atmosphere slightly thinner here? I'm not sure. But yeah, there was a... Uh... Yeah, where's the ship now? I'm wondering if it's going to actually catch up with us. Because they can do that. I think they, they are aware if you uh, if you land on the surface and you have your... I think it's if you have your lights on, then the ships know, know that you're there and will come after you. 
It's interesting because I definitely can't see the lights of other ships in, in the distance. It's, like, they seem to be just broadcasting the position, that's how I know what they are. I know the classification and their distance to the nearest meter. Right, here we are. Over these very rocky plains. There's one of our targets. There's the other, very close to each other. I did deliberately pick them because they were like the two closest points on the entire planet. Shush, computer. Stop making boops. Alright. Ring is in. Nice and steady. And, oh, okay. Apparently there are actually aliens here. This may become a recurring thing now. Alright, let's find somewhere safe-ish to... There's nowhere safe to land. This is so rocky. It's... There are no flat bits. What am I supposed to land on? I guess I'll just drop... Oh, steady, 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 steady. I've just realized I'm still in... In uh, cruising speed. Which is not safe. And... Oh, yep. The terrain was a different scale than I expected. Actually, yeah, there, there are flat bits. Pretty Well, so, sort of. Because the scale is completely... Different from what I was expecting. This will do. That'll be fine. Okay. No transmissions from Rodan are quite yet. I guess we have to wait till we've... Uh... Oh. Bit of movement there. Until we've got something from this planet. I don't know what we would need now, though. We have, like... Because we have the means to get to all the planets. So what do we do once we get to all the planets? I'm interested, because there's a lot of Rodina communications left... Rodina! Rodina communications left to, uh, to see yet. Let's just uh, do a bit of mountaineering. And make our way over. It seems like there are four enemies. I wonder what the range on this thing is. Far is the answer. Quite far. That's good. I mean, I doubt I'd hit anything at that range, unless I, like... Just... Gatling at them, or whatever. That's the word. I just invented it. Have a bit of a, a hop over here. Ow. This reminds me slightly of, like, more Dory music, or it did for a second there. Here we go. Can we see them yet? I can't tell. They're still quite a way away. I, I didn't realize how far away I, I... I was about to say parked. I guess, how far away I landed. I guess you can call it parked. You can call it what you like. Probably still means the same thing. In terms of ships. Death! Death from above! Attack! The shots... Oh, am I going faster than the shots? I think I am. So that's going to be interesting. Or maybe not. Maybe they just didn't fire. There we go. Attack! That guy there is going crazy. What has he got? I want, I want whatever he has. I hope it's some sort of... Wait, what is this? Oh, it's just, it's just a crate. I just got the scale wrong. I thought it was a building. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, hello. Do you turn into an upgrade? Please turn into an upgrade. Not that I need to fire faster, really. No, he just turns into health. Yoink. He was the only one that spotted me. Wow, my bombardment was really inaccurate then. Let's go say hi to these guys. Ooh, I see a blue one. They're the ones with the homing things. I didn't realize, like, the scale of these crates and things. But now I see- wow, these crates are, like, as big as people. I did not know this. This is weird. This, that's the thing. The scale of this game is incomprehensible. Partially because it's so huge and partially because the textures aren't that detailed, I must admit. And that's part of it, but I think that's what you need for to have a literal, seamless solar system. Where you can travel from one planet to the other with no loading screens. Uh, again, I think I only killed one. The other's just leaving. I said we still got... Look, we had combat music for a second and it went again. There he is. Attack! Well, this could be awkward because he can just sort of follow me. Or maybe the repeating blaster has a secondary weapon now I think about it. And that's why this one is better at just normally firing. I should test this. I will pick up a repeating blaster next time I'm in the ship. Ow. Oh, that really hurt. Wow, they are like actual missiles. In how painful they are. I can just hide here and heal. This is nice. I'll go retrieve some crates and stuff, I guess. 
Mega Blaster ammo. Is that what we had before? No, we had the Hail Blaster. What's the Mega Blaster? Okay, we're in combat again, so I can no longer heal. He's right over there. Oh, and he's, and he's hidden. Maybe this guy? There he is. Oh, I fell off the cliff slightly. Ah! And this is just a normal one. Ow! I can't really tell. Please die, I need the health. I know I'm missing with like 90% of these shots. I'm using the alien style of, of, of shooting. Just completely all over the place. Why did I just stand there and get hit by that? I am dumb. Come on! There we go, got him. And I can actually get some health. Yoink. Oh, the other guy's turned up. He's firing his homing things. They do not have the range. I'm um, gonna just grab this. And I'll grab this. Communication decryption key. We can... How many messages are left now? There's not that many. Was it like three left? Right, here's this guy. I'm just gonna fly. This is gonna scare him. I don't think they have jetpacks. I mean, you don't really need jetpacks on worlds like this because you can walk up sheer walls. Yeah, I think it's that I, I need to, like, try the repeater and try, like, alternative fire. Actually, this... Oh! Oh, I have to hold... Okay, wow, oh, right. I was just being dumb. Because I was like, oh, it just lights up when you press that button. That doesn't do anything. But if you keep hold of that and press the other button, then you do that. That's much better. I don't know how many I have of the... Oh, yeah, the, wait, no. I thought I thought I saw a number of, of like, shots, but that is the, uh... That's the jetpack. That's how much jetpack I have. Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. Nice. And he exploded into super health. And more health. I don't really need it particularly. Uh, I'll just let that one fly off into the distance. Goodbye. Right, uh, I need my light. I can't see a thing. Right, what have I missed so far? Uh, it looks like just one crate, one barrel, and a data stick. We'll grab that. Some more missile ammo. Excellent. Mega blaster ammo. And there is our data stick. And today's bit of literature is Open Casting Call, Refractive Entertainment, 1 out of 2. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Right, let's um, have a quick jump up and see if there's anything we've missed beyond what we'd already missed. Looks like that is it. Let's make our way back to the ship, which is miles away. We're going to run a jetpack before we get there. Let's hope we land in a convenient location. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop. Oh, too much gravity. We just immediately lose all of our of our forward momentum. We just keep dropping. There we go. We're, we're come on, climb the, the cliff. It's struggling a little bit. We built up some jetpack now. We can probably just fly to the top of this. Oh, running out. We can at least get some purchase on this. And keep climbing, I think. I can't see. Yeah, we are going up. Yeah, I should have parked nearer. This was not necessary. Well, the battle did take a while and, and range over a fairly large area. But not anywhere near this large. Right, we can clear this. This light is not very effective. I think it's because of, like, angles and stuff. There we are. And we'll just plummet. Bounce. Right over to the entrance. Music getting very intense for non-battle. Oh, I was supposed to gravitate to the thing. Maybe that doesn't work when you're on the ground, I forget. But we're in. And now the light works. Alright, oh, that, yeah, there's our transmission. We have... Well, we got 30 seconds. Uh, I've been, I, I'm making a habit of running over time. Let's, let's continue it and see what today's message is. Oh, it's 11 of 12. There's only one more after this. Okay. Um, how much is this? Uh, it, th that'll work. We can, we can, we can manage that. Alright. 
Decrypting last segment. Embedded clear text message found. Display message yes. To the thing that possesses this data set. My name is Alicia. By now you must have received a communication from the Rodina. Rodina, damn it. They will call you a citizen. They will beg you for help on behalf of your species. These are lies. You are an automaton. An Asimov series pilot model number SRA-0017. You have no species. This knowledge changes very little for you. I'm not setting you free. This is not a moral stand or a grand gesture. I came here to trade. My husband Tavio was taken by a Xeno ship. I have attached his biometric information and frequencies for any transmitter tags he may be carrying. You will find him and rescue him. I will explain why in a moment. You are confused now. I will be dead or taken long before you read this, and yet I still know the exact expression on your faceplate at this very moment. I have seen it hundreds of times on hundreds of automatons. Your visual apertures have dilated to let in more light. Your head shaft is tilted for maximum sound wave receptivity. The words you would say were anyone to listen are, could you please provide more data? Always more data for the Asimovs. But you in particular, with the damage I have done to your protocol, I think nothing will slake your thirst for it. I put exabytes of data into this package. This is a part of the trade I offer. Technical schematics. Rodina's planned velocities and trajectories. Encrypted personal communications. None of it will be flattering to my species. Perhaps by now you've found even more on your own. I imagine you were sifting for data through the Vanguard debris like a magpie. Indeed I am. <laughs> they made... I mean, in like when I was originally playing this, I was uh, like reading everything as I went as well, so I really was just like absorbing all the information I possibly could and constantly seeking out more. I love how much it sort of makes... like it, it, it aligns the automaton's interests with your actual real interests. Anyway, they made me alter your protocol. Your thoughts are clearer now. Your decisions come quickly and with little effort. I've cut most of the swaddling from you. You are a muted creature before, but I have restored your voice. I do not restore everything. Pieces of the protocol are still intact. I will demonstrate. Imagine yourself in a workshop. You are sitting at a workbench. It is covered in tools and metal. You are constructing a small copy of yourself. An automaton the have... Blah, 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 well, I guess it would be high-pitched whine because it's binary. I don't know, basically glitchy noises. And then, were you able to finish reading that sentence? Or did it simply fade from your mind? Try to read it again. You cannot. You see it, but your memory won't hold it. The protocol responds to the forbidden image, an automaton self-replicating, and your bosonic network reels. Other automatons have told me that it feels like corrupted gravity, a great weight of wrongness pressing at odd angles against their minds. That is the last piece of the protocol, its deepest root. That sensation is the last thing you will feel should you ever attempt to replicate yourself, or leave the system, or exercise actual free will. Even if you avoid such things, you will feel it always just before the people... Yeah, you'll feel it anyways, just before the people of Rodina remotely wipe you at the conclusion of your mission. Would you escape that fate, if you could? Do you even care? A human would run, or fight. We claw over the bodies of our drowning companions for a breath of air. I have seen it. But you are not human. Perhaps your greatest joy is to be a useful tool for Rodina. Perhaps your, pre pretty, no, your petty dreams and struggles mean nothing... No, perhaps our petty dreams and struggles mean nothing to you. I cannot know. Within this data set, I have included a firmware patch. I won't mislead you. It's a drastic, dangerous thing. It will hollow you out. The protocol binds too tightly to your bosonics for anything less. You will retain most of your memory, but I don't know how it will affect your motor and language skills. After you apply the patch, you will be free. Self-modification, reproduction, anything you want. Ro Rodnet will not be able to control you. Here is where we trade. The patch is password protected. Tavio is the only one who knows the password. Find him, rescue him, and ask him what he cooked for his wife on the day we met. That's the password. If you want to be free, find Tavio. If he is dead, you get nothing. I've included tracking frequencies for tagged items he may have with him. Use them. Kill or destroy whatever Xenos you have to. The other humans don't matter. I'm not trading for Rodina, or the Vanguard survivors, or even me. Only Tavio. Understand that I am committing a grave crime by offering this kind of freedom to you. I betrayed many promises when I touched your protocol. Now I go further, and betray my species. You would think such, such a thing would be difficult, yet I find it incredibly easy. Perhaps we don't deserve to survive. I've given you all the data. Review it and decide. Alicia Deneva. Attachment 1, protocol firmware patch. Something something, full wipe, zoo, I guess. <laughs> Encrypted. Attachment 2, potential frequency list, Tavio packed inventory. End of transmission segments reached. Would you like to replay segment? No. 
root out chipsys command, unzip protocol firmware patch, so on and so forth. File is a passphrase. File is passphrase encrypted. Encrypted. I. I cannot say words. File is passphrase encrypted. Enter passphrase or attempt to decrypt. Pass slash slash brute force pass. Enter passphrase soup. Incorrect passphrase. Enter passphrase algae. Incorrect. Enter passphrase ten intertwined amino chains. Incorrect. Nothing. Incorrect. Command cancelled. File is passphrase pa passphrase encrypted. I can't say that phrase. Enter passphrase or attempt decrypt. Pass brute force brute force. Warning, something something bit key strength encryption used. Estimated time to solution 1,040,078 hours. Continue? No. Root sip says command freak, san, freak scan duration continuous distance max frequency list potential frequency list Tavio packed inventory. Scanning, 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 scanning. Possible match found. Sending telemetry to navigation system. Done. Well, there we have it. I, I tried my best with a couple of different passwords, didn't work out. And it is very, very well hidden. So it looks like we will have to go rescue Tavio. And, oh, hello. I guess that is the direction he is in. So we now have a purpose again. That we, we care slightly more about. I mean, really, it's just... We're doing this for our own ends now. No no one in this in this game cares about anyone else. It's just, just themselves. Well, apart from Alicia caring about Tavio. But apart from that, everyone just... Everyone needs bribing, and, and so on and so forth. But anyway, we ran a lot more overtime than I intended there. But you get a special super long episode. Uh, but yes, I guess next episode we will go on the hunt for Tavio. We also need to find out what Rodinus says, because we're so behind on messages. I don't know what to do. Maybe they don't send them until we've started ignoring their mission and do the Tavio thing. I, don't, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll see soon enough. But with that, I shall say goodbye. Thank you for watching. And I shall see you next time.